What's good? What's good? What's really good? You know who this is. I don't even need to explain or tell you who I am. For those who don't know who I am, I am. <laughs> I am the man that you all know and love, E. Digger, and welcome to a new episode of That's right. E Digger Speaks, where the conversation is real, never fabricated. Make sure you check out the fan page of Charm City Direct TV at facebook.com forward slash Charm City Direct TV. Today, people, we have a topic that you're familiar with and we need to talk about it because some of you are not aware and I need you to be aware. Let me say that again. Some of you are not too aware of what's going on with your circle. And when I say circle, I'm talking about your friends, your close friends, the people who you instill trust in, the people who proclaim to hold you down. We're going to talk about that today. Be aware of your circle. What feelers go up in the air? Do you need to have your antennas up? What are people doing behind your back instead of in front of you? And joining me today, this brother, what can I say, man? He tell it like it is. He get right down to the nitty gritty. Uh, wonderful talk show host, wonderful show that you can see on the Young Black Panthers Network ordinary people, uh, media. I'm going to bring this brother in without further ado. I'm talking about none other than the man himself, Mr. Terry Little. What's good with you, bro? I'm mute your mic. <laughs> Muted my mic. There I am. All right. <laughs> he, he, he muted my mic and he's going to tell me to unmute my mic. How you <laughs> I don't get that. All right, what's going on, you guys? Good morning, happy Wednesday. Uh, thank you for having me on. I, you know, I, I am at a place in my life to where I know now that I've made it. When I'm yeah. on Charm City Direct TV, I have made it. Made Whoa, it. This, is the, this is the pinnacle right here. This is the pinnacle. This is the no. this is the the gold standard of YB, uh, YBPN right here <laughs> and OPM right here. This Stop it. Standard. Stop I'm it. just saying. I'm just telling you what's what's real. I'm just saying. <laughs> I see you guys. I see you guys' numbers. Don't don't play with me. <laughs> I can read, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, thanks for coming on the show. Um, sure. Always a pleasure. Uh, like I said, people uh, treat your eardrums. I, I tell people uh, treat your eardrums. Peach, uh, treat your visuals to uh, the real because this brother tells it like it is. Um, right. Terry, tell the people out there a little bit about you, okay. uh, your shows. Um, talk to the people right quick. Okay, I can do that. Well, my name is Terry Little. I am uh, broadcast from Southern Idaho, Twin Falls, to be exact. Right now, we are inside of TCS TV uh, Studios right here. Um, and what I do on my show, which airs on Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays, on the network is I try to give uh, folks, excuse me, a little bit more uh, use of that common sense. So I have dubbed myself the common sense guru because a lot of people are walking around here are completely oblivious to what's going on in their life. And they wonder how they get into certain spots. And then when all they had to do was kind of, was, was kind of tap into a little bit more of that common sense. Uh, henceforth, the name, The Conversation Show TV, which is also a book about my life here. Um, it's going to come out at some point when I, whenever I get to finish writing it. But that's my goal uh, is to help people get more common sense. And I also have passion uh, for helping men as well, because men, we struggle and um, we need to get to a better place to be better fathers and husbands and such. So that's, that's what I want to do. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have the show been around? Oh man, off and on, um, about three years. 
um, because I started it, and it was when I first started it, it was just a common sense show. Okay. And then I, I went looking around on the on the net and trolling and stuff, and found out that the common sense show is actually a polit uh, is a politics show that's still airing and running. Uh, the guy that runs it, I had actually emailed him and was like, "Hey." I didn't know that you guys had the same. We had the, the same exact yeah. name, and you know he don't know get back to me. So I just went ahead and changed the name and put TV on the end. And since mm -hmm. it's been TV, uh, it's been about two and a half years. Okay, I used to do it in my basement mm. um, with a green screen, which I barely use. It's like a big old okay. tarp behind me. Okay, um, and it was just modest. I had a little bit of a following, you know. I help I helped some folks and. Um, but then we moved and then I got a back and I said, you know what, let me step my game up. And here yeah. I am, uh, on the show with you, which I'm so proud of. I'm just so proud of. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate <laughs> that. Now today, Terry, we're going to be talking about the topic, like I said, um, of being aware, uh, of your circle huh. and because, and I picked this topic because it, you know, like many people, uh, they tend to talk about what's on their mind and what's going on in their life right now. And and that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, the one great thing about having a circle or what I've learned is that you're, you can't appoint your circle. Mm -hmm. Your circle to me and in my experience they they're going to see your vision. They're going to see your grind and and they're going to they're going to want to know what it is about you. So when a person mm -hmm. want to know knowledge or want to know information, what they they do? They ask. Right. And I've I've struggled with that from time to time and I've always I I used to be that person Terry where I get on Facebook and ask for help every week mm -hmm. I was asking people, asking people, and I was not getting a response. Mm -hmm. And it was just recently that I, I met you guys, three, right. three strangers, yeah. so to speak. And in the dark, in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> and someone told me a while ago, I was at an event, and I always tell this story because mm -hmm. it, it's so unique and it has a has a meaning that it, it's, he's a rapper. He's a, he's an artist here in Baltimore. His name is K-Mac uh, mm -hmm. Knoxville Entertainment. Shout out to K-Mac. And he said to me, he said, E, like right out of the blue, we were sitting at a table. We was at an event. We was having fun. And he looked at me. He said, man, you need a team. And I said, well, I've been I've been wanting a team for a long time. But, you know, everybody I ask, you know, is either how much you how much you paying mm. or what it is that you doing. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. And he said, no, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. You need a team. And I said, I, I at that at that time, Terry, <laughs> I didn't understand what he what he was talking about. He said, your team it's going to be people that is going to find you, mm -hmm. yep. you know? And I said, Oh, who am I? You yeah. see what I'm saying? And lo and behold, you know, I'm at work one day and I see this guy, uh, you know, uh, young black Panthers network. And mm -hmm. he started following me, started looking at, you know, certain things that I was doing and, and I said, who is this dude? Because right off the break, you know, strange people that you don't know start looking at you and start, you know, yeah. I like what you're doing. Antennas yeah. go up. What's up, Dave? Yeah, little little uh, feelers in the back of your hair start to stick up in the back of your neck. And and I said, who is this dude? So yeah. it Same. got from <laughs> it got from that conversation to that situation to let's talk. Yeah. And I'm 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 always, you know, up to talking to new people. You know, yeah. I, I love to see new faces. I I love the I love people. Right. And we stayed on the phone for about an hour, 
hour and a half just yeah. talking, just talking business, who who I was, who he was. Mm -hmm. Complete stranger. Never met this person a day in my life. Yeah. And out of that conversation came you guys, you, mm -hmm. Terry, and, and, and Dave, and Dave Brown. And, uh, and it really came back to me like your team is going to be people mm -hmm. that you don't know complete strangers right as opposed to the people that you possibly grew up with mm -hmm. you went to kindergarten with yep went to high school with mm -hmm. that that brother that you met on the bus stop mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying so the people that you don't know are going to support you more than the people that you do know what 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 did you think about that man that is that's life in general you know that, that that's life in general um it's just like they they always say you know family will stick you faster than strangers it, mm. it, you know it, 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 it it's always you can say that in reverse um people are going to be people what i always say or what, what i always used to say i still say it was that when you become the brightest star in your circle mm. it's time to change circles because yeah. you know, life is always always about progression and being better. Um, the same thing happened to me with like it did with you, E, is that you know Devontae came out of the blue. I did, I was just doing my little show on Sunday, just being modest, you know, just doing my thing. And yeah. he did he did me the same way. He hit me up in the inbox and was, hey, you, you want to talk? And I'm like, oh, man, I don't, who I don't know mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But I had the same issue, was trying to get people that I knew. Uh, to be a part of what I was doing. And it was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But it was those folks outside. Like, I didn't know you guys. Now, I knew Dave yeah, um, yeah. a little bit, but I didn't know you or Devontae before this whole thing started. And now look at it. Strangers in the dark, you know, holding hands and all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but that's, that's life, man. People will, I don't know. Um, those folks you run with, they know you, and mm -hmm. that's the reason why they won't fool with you. It's, it's no, it's nothing. It's not a the reason why they won't do it. It's not deep and mystical. It's it's just the fact they know you, mm -hmm. and they know if, if they really know you, and they've seen you succeed in some things, or they hate you. They really hate us, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, I can't. No, I can't roll with him because if he make it." You know, he's going to be big if he make it. And some people just hate us like that. It's really it's nothing deep and mystical. It's just they want to be a hater. They want to be a hater. I I, want, I don't want to rock with them because I know if they take off, because I, I, I can imagine Devontae's got a bunch of haters. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine yeah. you got a bunch of haters because, I mean, you guys are rolling big. Charm City Direct TV, I'm telling you, man, look, when I first saw you, uh, I saw your logo, I thought, man, he works with Direct TV. <laughs> I really did. I, just, like, he I, I wasn't thinking clearly. I think I was. I don't know. Maybe too much orange. <laughs> but but people are just like that, man. And it makes you mad. So I'm more inclined to deal with people outside of my circle, people I don't know, uh, because they'll support you faster. Than and the, that's than where I'm at. And yeah. that's where I'm at. You know, I, I it's 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 confusing. Yeah, it is. It's frustrating at times. Yeah. Um, and it's also is is it's also sad, you know, yeah. that we we have to think along those lines of, you know, for instance, like you know, I I I know people, I know guys, I guys and girls put it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to exclude the women. Right. Uh, I know people I went to kindergarten with. I still see them, and. You would think that just because I know you, you see me face to face, it's it's cool. Right. But in retro, it's not. No. But then you start to ask the question, when is it time to cut that off? I can tell you exactly when. When they when they no longer uh when they no longer do you any good. Here's the thing, E, is that in this life, people are going to show you. And Maya Angelou said it the best. When people show you who they are, believe them. Mm -hmm. right? She said it the best. Mm -hmm. um, there are people in this life 
because of you, because of who you are, and because of who you belong to. Not to make this religious, but the, but because of who you are, there are people in this life that cannot go with you. No matter how much you want them to go, they cannot go with you. When you are, when you become mm -hmm. the number one talk show in Charm City, when you become the number one talk show on our network, when you become the number one talk show in this country. Them people that's not meant to be there won't because yeah. they can't go with you. They just can't. And we have to come to a realization about that. When uh, like Ramon, with his detailing business and everything that he's doing, when he becomes number one, people that are, are not supposed to be there will not be. Whether it be family, whether it be, it, it won't matter. Yeah, They can't go. Yeah. When I, when I take off, when God bless me and I'm gone, people that are not supposed to be there, they ain't going to be there. They can't you, roll. They can't roll with you. And you see the difference. I, you know, and I, I, I try. I try hard. You know. Mm -hmm. I say. You know. I, I'm. I'm just grateful mm -hmm. that, you know, I'm not programmed to a nine to five. And, the, right. and when I say that, I, I say there's other interests. There's other talents. Yeah. Uh, that I have now, if that's a problem <laughs> for the next person, you, you, you got to take that up with God, you know, who, who well, out of your hands. Yeah. It's, it's out of my hands. I, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I do this naturally, you right. know, this, it's not an act. It's not a, you know, it's not a facade. If you have a problem with that, you have to take in my personality. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah. If you can't accept me for who I am, you gotta go. You gotta go. After gotta... a person has given you ample amount of time, mm -hmm. you know, and and I struggle with that. But then you have these people that come into your life for who you are or what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause you, you have those people and yeah. that's, that's, that's when the, the antennas or the, the, the hairs start the, yeah. you know, spidey sense. That's yeah, the spidey for, sense. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when, when the spidey sense tingle, because everybody have it, you sure. know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's called six sense. But when, when your spidey sense start tingling, you know, I want people to horn on it, on, on, in, on that. Don't mm. ignore it. Because no, no, definitely not. Don't, don't don't do it. When it happens, it's happening for a reason, people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Please and when that happened, no. don't don't try to say, "Oh, it, okay, they, no, they good, they good." Mm -hmm. And I think that was my problem. I I am a person, Terry, to bring everybody in. Yeah. And, as as you may see, sometimes I may say I bring people together. Right. And I love that. Right. But sometimes the people that you bring together are not meant to be in your circle, in that circle, so to speak. Not at all. Not at all. You know, see, he, he, here's here's what I because I used to do that, too. I used to be that same guy. want to bring everybody together and want to help everybody. until so I got burnt. And once I got burnt, it stopped. Mm. I said, here's the deal. My spidey sense is always up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because um you and, and like he like he said, don't um uh, not don't uh, uh dismiss those feelings because God gave us all common sense. Mm. And what that is, that team that spidey sense, that's common sense telling you, wait, that person vexed my spirit. I can't deal with them, mm. they can't be in my circle. This is going to be a bunch of drama. This is going to be a bunch of nonsense. Don't, if your spidey sense is tingling, you better listen to it. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you don't, you're going to end up and you're going to be in a place to where now you're mad at somebody. You got resentment towards somebody because they don't need you dirty. But in, in, in at the same time, you're going to be like, well, I, in the beginning, I shouldn't let them in anyway because. So listen to your spidey sense. Listen to your common sense. Listen to that thing that. Um, and makes those decisions for you because man, people don't care. Yeah, people don't care. People, I my conscience play a big role in my life. Uh -huh. My conscience talk 
to me. I you know, I don't talk back, but <laughs> my conscience plays a big part yeah. in my life. Like, hey, E, I don't think you should do that. Or, hey, E, uh, mm, you might want to second guess that person. You see what I'm saying? Listen right. to your conscience, people. Sit down and 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 really listen to what your conscience, not not what other people tell you. Block those people out. Listen yeah. to your conscience because your conscience pretty much will tell you what's right, what's wrong. Trust me. Because my, my conscience has gotten me over a number of times. Right. And 95% of the time, <laughs> my conscience was right. Right. Because you'll see it as time go on. Right. That's so right. people, I, I, I just, this show, and shout out to Terry who who's joining me, is to, when you have those feelings, when you have those spidey senses that's, that's tingling, mm -hmm. whenever this person or whatever these people are around you, listen right right listen listen here, here's the issue that we are this this is this is the issue that most folk have and everyone you know everybody wants to be super safe out <laughs> yeah yeah and you can't and you can't be you can't save everybody because everybody's not meant for your blessing no everybody can't fit into your car you know how when, you know we see we go to the circus we see the clown cars and you got mm -hmm. 25 30 clowns in one car yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah, Everybody can't fit in your car. Yeah, I'm a big dude. I'm the only one in my car. Same, same, me, same me, here. <laughs> me and my wife. We, she's the only one, only two in my car. Yeah. Um, stop trying to be everything to everybody. Mm. The only thing that you can do is be you for some of the folk. Mm. Okay. My gun and conscience is, is God telling me what to do. Let listen to him exactly. Yeah. Um, stop being everything for everybody. Because you can't you can't save everybody because half of the folks that you're trying to save can't go with you no way. There I'll repeat go. that one more time. Everybody that you're trying to save can't go with you no way. There so you go. the people that are meant to be in your life, that are meant to be something along your path, those are the folks that are going to do whatever it takes to be a part of your life. Now your spidey sense is going to tell you who's slacking in your life. They're like, you know what? Uh, -uh she ain't right. Uh, uh no, he ain't right. Mm-hmm. Take for example, like my my wife, I, I, I you know love my wife, and she has a bunch of friends. That, you know, and her friend had a birthday had a birthday, mm -hmm. and um, she she wanted steak and potatoes and all that good stuff for her birthday. Mm -hmm. when, my, my, when my wife had her birthday, she didn't get nothing. You know that she didn't get that. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh. Red flag, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. but when and I know we were talking, talking earlier about some of the red flags and some of the, the, the signs, yes, when people start giving you that fake smile, when you something happened to you good and you tell them and they go, <laughs> Yeah, that's great, mm. they give that, they give you that fake stuff, mm -hmm. check it. That's a doo -doo 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 -doo. red flag. Mama says she can't hear me. Cause she she says she can't hear. Mm. I don't know. I should turn myself up here. Oh, I can hear. Okay, yeah. I'm here okay yeah, so yeah. Let me, let me check my phone. Yeah. <laughs> fake smile when you something happened to you good. Yeah, you good. They faking it. They faking it. You can tell me they're faking it. Yeah, girl. Yeah, dude. That's that's dope. Yeah. I I I've I've come to the conclusion, Terry, that everybody cannot be your friend. Mm -mm. Might even close. And it took me a while to to figure that out. Even yeah. even at forty six. You forty six. Forty six. Who you? Yeah. When? Uh, July twenty six. Just turned forty six. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You wow, can't okay. see the, the gray. I, I got gray too. You see the gray? You see yeah, the gray? That I, little I bit of gray. You know what? Quit playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a whole beard. Oh man. Growing. Because <laughs> I'm I'm 44. I'm like 46. What? Okay. Yeah, 46, yeah. man. 
46. You see, we too old. Yeah. To be dealing with people like that. Yeah. That's the point. That's, and that's making. what I said. I said, yeah. you know, it's this is this is I'm old. Yeah, I'm done. I, I ain't got time to be, you know, <clears throat> worried about who's doing what behind my back. Yeah. Uh, if you can't say if you can't be man enough or woman enough, mm -hmm. uh they do it too. Yeah. Shout out to Nicole who came in. Hey Nicole. That's what's up. That's Little my girl Nicole. there. Yeah, she came love in her. last night. I love her. Yeah. Love her. She's awesome. So I, I, my encouragement to people now is listen to the signs or mm -hmm. or see or hear the signs. Yeah. But whatever, whatever floats your boat because yeah. it, it comes. It's there. Right. Uh God did not give us this. How can I put this? God did not, did not give us this intuition for nothing. Right. He should, uh, he, didn't. he he gave it to us for a reason. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That people people come into <laughs> your life for a reason or a season. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. What exactly. is that person's purpose? That is the question that you need to ask yourself, people. What is that person's purpose? For coming into your life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is the question. Every time when, every time when a person come in, you got to have that question: What is your purpose? Gotcha. What what you here for? Yeah, because I I've started doing this, and this is bad, and a lot of people can attest to this. When people send me friend requests, because people don't normally say what they need, mm -hmm. they will send you a friend request and just. Uh, think that you're supposed to know who they are or right. uh you know so i i put out a um what is it a, a pre-message mm -hmm. and it's like a click now i highlight it <laughs> and click like how can i help you or where do i know you from just like that it, it reads <laughs> just like that terry and <laughs> some people got mad I need one of those. <laughs> who yeah, sent you? Who huh? sent you? Yeah, who, who sent, sent you? you? <laughs> who who I know, who you know that I know. Or how oh, can man. I help you? Because yeah. normally when people send you a friend request, it's one of two things. They either know you from someone, you went mm -hmm. to school with that person, mm -hmm. or they need something. Right. Hey, man, I see your backdrop. Or, hey, man, you know, I see this stream yard thing. How you do it? The lighting? What would I get a lot of that? Yeah, I get a lot of that. Personally. I don't have ESP, so I need to ask these questions. Yeah. Who are you, or what do you need? How can I help you? Yeah, it's no different than these the Facebook groups. Like some of these groups make you answer a whole question there <laughs> to get into the group. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's it's kind of the same thing. I learned that today. I I thought people was lying. I I somebody told oh. me about this group. They had literally Terry five questions. Yeah, my group I does said, the same thing. What in the blue hell is this? <laughs> like you, you trying to apply for a credit card or nah. something? It is not that serious. It's a, but you know what though? It's a, it's a good thing because that's going to keep riffraff out of your life. Yeah, and look, because if if they have to stop and take time to answer a question, if they really want to be a part of the group, they'll stay in there and answer that question. Some folks. Well, like, they answer no questions. I'm out of here. And they'll do something else. Yeah. So they keep real crap out. Um, and these groups are trying to, cut because people would just jump in the groups and just for numbers sake, you yeah. know, when, we were doing, when they were doing that. Yeah. Um, I'm glad Facebook put a stop to that. That was nerve wracking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but that's how we got to be. When it comes to our blessings, our purpose, our goals, mm -hmm. we got to be just as astringent. When we deal with, when you dealing with people, yeah, and we gotta we gotta be like, yeah, no, I don't know you. First of all, you can't get that close. Mm -hmm. um, not saying to be don't be standoffish with people, mm -hmm. but just be like, you know, you got to prove your worth to me. You know, yeah, you, people you, love people love to talk. It'll, yeah, don't talk me to death. What you what you gonna show? Me? You know what I'm saying? I thought I was the only one. No, 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 sir. No. I thought I was. I I'd say quick. You talking too much. I'm yeah. I'm I'm not a. How can I put this? I'm not a phone type of person, Terry. Mm -hmm. I you know 
there was a time when I was young, maybe, but that was just talking to a girl. Yeah. You know, talking to a dude two hours. Hmm. Mm. Right. If it ain't about business, let right. me just say that. Yeah, it's about business. Yeah, if it's it's about business, let's talk. But you calling me saying, "Hey, what's up, E? What's going on, yo?" No, can't do that. No, play. Mm -mm. I don't know you. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, you. I, I. You about to hear Mister Click? <laughs> you know, <laughs> can't Mr. do it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's crazy. Um, listen, listen. No designs. That's mm -hmm. one. Know the signs and don't pretend like it's not there or don't ignore it. You see what I'm saying? It once it's there, it's there. Once it repeat, once it is present, know the signs. Right. And uh Nicole writes, Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just read that. <laughs> yeah, when someone sends you a friend request, I will message them and ask how they found me, how can I help them? If they don't answer or want to have a conversation, then you're not allowed in my circle. There yeah. you go. There you go. But see, I, I, you know what? Let me speak on Nicole real quick. I, Nicole, um, I'm sure that she gets a lot of thirst buckets. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <throat> so a lot of dudes was like, "Ooh, let me see her friend request and see what she'll say." Let's see if she let her guard down and let yes. me in. Mm -hmm. uh, no, she's too rooted for that. Yes. So, um, dudes, if you're watching this and you're trying to send Nicole a friend request, uh -uh. please quit. Please quit. That's my warning. Don't, don't even waste your times, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we two men right now are please telling quit. you right Stop. now. We we not we it. not <laughs> we not blocking. No, nah. no. Shoot, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot all day, all day. There but you go. <laughs> there's going to be an epic. Yeah, don't be mad. And we are saving. I'm telling we you, are no, saving mad. you the headache. <laughs> we are saving you the, that 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 conversation after you get rejected. What the, what the guys do, man? Fuck. Yeah, that's what they're gonna be like. She, yeah, she, she was on that anyway. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm saving y'all from that. Y'all do this quick. I did a video about that. Uh, eight, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when 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 men stop being boys. You, you mm. had to go back. You had to, you had to check that one out because I was went, I went all the way one hundred in that mm. video. Um, but that was uh last Monday, I think it was. You had to go back and check that out. Oh, but okay. anyway, okay. Um, yeah, we you got you got to keep people out of your circle. I mean, you you know what we deal with. You know, men deal with different issues outside of you know versus women. Women have to deal with uh, thirst buckets, like mm -hmm. you know, like Nicole. I know I'm sure Nicole gets that all the time. Yes, um, or any woman that's that's worth their weight. Get that. Um, and men have to deal with, you know, these, these I don't know, we, crazy people. Yeah. Like me, I get a whole bunch of people that want to know, well, Jerry, how'd you go from, I remember when you was in your basement. Mm -hmm. I remember when I used to record all my videos on my phone. You know, I used to, you know, and now, he's like, oh, you big time now, huh? I want to be with you. What you doing? What you rolling with? Nah, I ain't doing nothing. I'm blessed. Yeah. I'm blessed by God. That's there what I go. tell them. Right, good. So that's what you want me to do. Um, and so people will people will talk themselves right out of a friendship. With you. Yeah. And yeah. If, if you really want to find somebody out, talk to them five minutes, mm -hmm. and they reveal themselves real quick to you, and be like, "Oh, you know, like you like you, Terry. I, I get the same. I I, I get the." Uh, because people remember me from, you know, the radio show. We, mm -hmm. you know, and then they see me by myself and, you know, they see the lights, they see the camera, they see the backdrop and they, you, you ever met a person or talk to a person, they want to know, but they beat around the bush, so to yeah. speak. And uh, they, they going to ask you, they going to ask you, but it's, it's kind of hard for them to ask, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm a person like this. You know, come at me straight, and I will give you all the information you need. Right. You know. Right. Come don't at me come at you. Yeah. I, I don't come at me sideways. Yeah. Because you're going to catch a sideways exit, or you're going to catch a sideways response. 
I'm and a- pretty much my sideway response is not always pretty. I'm the king of petty, sir. Man. I'm the king of petty. <laughs> there, 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 there's two things you can't I, I I would I would love to see, but I don't want to see right. a quiet person getting out the gate yeah. on somebody. You you ever right. meet that person that's mm-hmm. real humble, real quiet, like hey, what's up, man? Real chill down to earth. Wait till you piss that person off. Mm. They come all oh. out the it's like a pit bull coming out the gate. I know I got a friend of mine just like that right now. And she and she will she cool. She copacetic. Please don't piss her off. Oh, I've seen man. I've seen her mad, and it's and it's not a it's not. Melissa's like the wife like that. I mean, she's kind of a she's cool, uh-huh. but she's like a cool rattlesnake. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She's. Whew, I hate to make her mad. I'm like, couple, like, baby. Go ahead. Couple people I do not want to see mad, and I'm I'm gonna run down the list. Dave. Don't want to see Dave get mad. I want I don't I want to money or nothing. No, I want another part of that. No. Devontae. No smoke from that brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to see that brother get mad. There's a guy that works at my job, James. He is like the chillest person. If is chillest a word? I don't think so. it's made up. It's no. not a word. Yeah, no. I just made up a word. We can Google it and find out. We okay. So. <laughs> is it Googleable? <laughs> I think it's Google. Let me explain. <laughs> James is like the the coolest person in the world. Now, I got a little bit of attitude from James. Yeah. And it was, he did it in such a slick way. He did it with a smile. His, oh, wow. Submersion. <laughs> right after that. You don't he, want he, that smoke from that young man. I'm telling you, let that smoke go. He kirked out. But he said, "All right, let me, let me gain, let me regain my composure. This ain't me. You see, yeah. and I don't want yeah. E to see me told me. Yeah, come on, yeah. character. Yeah, yeah. So those three people right there, I don't definitely don't want to see Dave get mad. Yeah, I don't if, if Dave, that. if Dave was to ever get mad and do a live, O M G, back here. Somebody finna so leave here. Yes, somebody finna go. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to see Devontae get mad. I don't want to see your patty." Uh, my pet is incredible. No, no. Let me ref- let me rephrase that. <laughs> I want to see your petty, not just on me. Oh, yeah, my, let- my, yeah. My, my pet is incredible because I was because <laughs> w- what I've done uh, before is that I started a Facebook fight and tag them and tag people. I'm like, because I, I want you to come and see me. I want wow. you to come. My page. Yeah, and so I'm I'm very petty, but I try to. I, you know, I've grown out of that. Yeah, yeah it's been it's been a couple. It's been a few years ago. Okay, um, because. I'm at a place now where where God has really taken over and there you go. And so it's like, okay. Let me kind of read over there. I see Dave and Duante Man online yeah. dealing with someone who just couldn't quit lying. Yes, you were the I think I oh yes. Yeah, uh-huh. I do remember that. That uh-huh. was with, uh, <laughs> that yeah. that uh person. <laughs> that person. Uh, is, is that truth? Is that truth? Is that truth? Yeah. <laughs> um is that truth or isn't there truth? Isn't that truth? And if it's if it is truth, no. Let me do one doing? better. Is there truth? <laughs> <laughs> because truth is within oh. truth, and truth is itself, and truth is. Truth. Oh my god, that was so. Funny don't you agree? <laughs> don't you don't you agree? Don't you agree? What if I, what if I told you that there was truth? But Terry, you, you... <laughs> the, the, the pregnant pause. Look, but Terry. Is that oh, true? Is that, I, I, <laughs> man, oh my god! And see, I'm still friends with this person, right? So I know she's gonna really see this. She oh. not, probably not after this live. <laughs> well, let me do this. Let me do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes I or no? I, yes or no? Yes or no? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, because I never, I never forget that because we was in that line. And it was just a lie that I stumbled upon, you know what I'm saying? They invited me in, and I'm thinking, hey, we're going to have a conversation. And yeah. next thing I know, I get bombarded. And I'm like, you know what? This is getting too freaky. I'm out. And I left. The um, look on your face, Terry. And this is this was <laughs> actually, you know, when I stumbled into the, the whole Scream Yard inner 
This is like <laughs> I'm deep now. I they got me, you know. Right. And the look <laughs> on your face, you was like, <laughs> "What's going on?" <laughs> uh, I, I felt, I, yeah, man. I just feel. See, people like that, and yeah. you know that that comes from. And then this person is everybody's a hater because they don't understand, mm -hmm. you know what, you know. I, I still appreciate her, her her friendship because she's she's still cool because we have her son's autistic, my son is autistic, so we we oh okay we 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 have that kind of connection. So she's okay. she's cool. Okay, but I don't I don't want people to get complacent to be okay with um, situations like that. Nicole yeah. knows what I'm talking about. You got nothing I'm talking about. Um, don't just deal with somebody or deal with something because mm -hmm. it's normal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's one thing you can't do is that you can't change the rules in the middle of the game, mm. right? You can't uh, be one way for so long and then change. Yeah. And expect for people not to see. Um, I don't know what that, what that dude's issue is, you know, and I, I feel bad for I her. I feel very bad. Yeah. I, I feel very she, bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's like she's stuck. Yeah, I, I do too, Nicole. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. I, I do. I love her daily. Um, but he's got this hold mm. on her, and it's scary. Mm. You know, the, the, the hold that he has on her. Um, what can you do? You pray for me, move on. Yeah. Oh, he's very old. Oh, yeah. 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 How, yeah. and that's, and that's uh, your closing um, when you end your show. Mm. You you say what what is it that you say? I really I, like that. I always say forgive yourself, forgive others, then move on. Yeah. Forgive yourself, forgive others, then and move, move on. on. Yeah. I All love right, that. Love what's, that. What's, what's Maymax coming? Okay, yeah, there it is. I yeah. really have time. They don't know me. They're being nosy. I'm fine with yeah. them. Yeah. Let me go RG. That way I can keep track of them. Most people are my family. Yeah. And so yeah. you got you got to keep that you got to keep that circle tight. Here's the thing, and I got, and I got to say that I think I alluded to this earlier in the broadcast, and um, where we got to protect, I'll put a force field um, around our blessings. Yes. And not in the gift that God has given us. Yes. And when you put that force field around, you're gonna make sure that everything around it is going to do his job and protect yes. it. Yes. Everything, everything, everybody has that one job. You got one job. You got that's, one job. You got one job. That's there it. You go. Um, and so, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be very, it's like I said, astringent about the people that you have into your life. Um, because as soon as someone steps out of pocket, you're going to cut them off, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so when you cut people off, guess what? Friends don't come right away. So mm -hmm. now you got a gap in the fence because you don't cuss, you don't you don't let somebody in mm -hmm. who did you no good, you cut mm -hmm. them off, now you mm -hmm. got a gap in the fence. Mm -hmm. So either people are gonna close rank and try to protect what you have, or you're gonna hurry up and try to bring the next person in to fill that gap. So be mindful of the people you bring in in the first place, then you have to mm -hmm. fill any gaps. You feel what I'm saying? That makes sense. Yeah. You have to fill Perfect no gaps sense. in. Yeah. Um so, but that that comes with prayer. That comes with um, having that spidey sense, or mm -hmm. what uh, religious folks would call um, what do they call it um, discernment. Mm. What do they call it? Okay. Um, all that stuff comes with time, discernment, and because you'll know. Because when when you get to a place, when you're in tune with yourself, mm -hmm. certain people will automatically vex you. You be like, oh no, they can they, they can walk up on you. And you're like, hey, what's up? And 10 seconds later, you're like, no, I don't, I don't want no part of that. And your spirit will know. Yeah. It's not, like I say, it's not, it's not that you're being mean. It's not that you're being standoffish. It's just mm -hmm. that I got to protect my spirit because it's my spirit. And nobody and, else cares about that. And I want people to understand that, you know, it's not about you being standoffish. It's not about you, you know, being better than the next person mm -hmm. or having the demeanor of you know i'm i'm you know hmm, don't don't touch me you know yeah. it's not even about that it, it's protecting your blessings like terry said and yeah. you know know who is who yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. know who is who 
And when those feelings come, when, when those signs are there, know what you have to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. we had, we had, we had no way, shape or form to tell you what to do in your life. Right. We yeah. cannot do that. Yeah. We can advise you. We can suggest, Lift it. but we cannot tell you who to talk to and who not to talk to. Mm-hmm. But people, I, I want you to understand that there are some people out there that's for you. Mm-hmm. And there are some people out there who are against you. Exactly. Know exactly. the difference because. Yeah. And TD Jakes uh, did a did a whole sermon about this on YouTube, and y'all could go back. Constituents, comrades, and constituents, comrades, and it was a third C. I, I forget. And he said, these are the three people that you need in your life. Mm-hmm. And you have to know the difference. Mm-hmm. You have to know the difference between a comrade, a constituent, and and uh, it, it, the, the, the third C. It was a third C. Yeah. And everything that that man said <coughs> was dead on. Mm-hmm. Because I, like I said, I, I was confidants thank you thank you nicole thank you i knew nicole no i knew nicole yeah. would know yes know. thank you <laughs> um confidant constituent and comrade yeah. and you you have to note the difference between the three right and it came right on time yeah because i was dealing with a with a situation i really didn't know who was who yeah i was lost yeah and a yeah, person hit me up in my in my inbox and say hey e they didn't give me a whole speech they said i want you to look at this mm-hmm. and i sat there and i and i and i really looked at it and i incorporated it in one of my um uh shows mm-hmm. to know the difference who is with you and who is against you right the people that are against you you need to know the difference. Got to. Here's here's the problem that we run into is that we 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 go through so long and we mm-hmm. just add, we just have people in our circle, have yeah. people in our circle. Then one day you have to look up and then you have to sort people out. Yes. You have to sort them out. Like, okay, well, they're just they're just a contestant. This somebody I just know, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll leave them in my life. You know, and, and and so what we're trying to do, good folks is that we're trying to keep you from having to have to have to stop and sort through people. Uh, if you, if you tap into your common sense, that's what, what a shameless plug, but the common sense, right. Tap into what, you know, and so that way you want, you don't have to say later on down the road, well, I, you and you and you can stay, the rest of y'all can go. You, you don't have mm-hmm. to do that mm-hmm. because you're going to, you're only going to allow people that's, that's for your circle. Mm-hmm right from the top you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so also i want to say is that everybody hey dave everybody has a remnant of people that are specifically for you mm. okay let's not let's be real clear on that what's up dave hey that, dave that profile pic though <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like you about to come through the <laughs> right. The <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. But everybody has a everybody has a remnant of people that are specific for the voice. So even when like when I, I watched Nicole the other night and she was giving a lot, even though I, I thought I was live, but I wasn't live. I was in replay actually. Um, <laughs> there, there's a I was mad about that too because mm. I'm in there going Nicole and I was like. No replay. response, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't that just make you mad? Oh, it pisses me off. Uh, so, uh, every time that we're we're doing these shows and we're actually coming forth and we're giving advice yes. and we're are ministering or whatever we're doing on camera, even though nobody may not show, even though may, nobody may not comment or whatever, believe me, you there is someone who is waiting to hear your mm. voice. Mm. T.D. Jakes won't do it. Uh, what's the other rock star? Uh, Joe Osteen won't do yeah. it. 
Yeah. Your 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 local pastor around the corner ain't gonna do it. Mm-hmm. That that person is that person's ear is specifically and God given for you. Mm. So those folks, be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Mm-hmm. So in order in order for you in order for you to be mindful of that, you have to kind of be in tune with your conscience or your common sense. Yes. And let you know and let God lead you in that way. Caption that. I call that my seriously profile pick. Yeah, brother. What was that? The caption that yeah. <laughs> about seriously profile pick. Yes, yes. I know that's right. Shout out to Dave. Uh man, what can I say? Um, so I'm you know, I, I want people to understand uh there are signs. Mm-hmm, definitely. There is uh a voice with inside of all of us who talks to us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, you know, you have to be crazy or uh, like I said, in in the earlier part of this broadcast, my my conscience plays a big part in my life. You know, I'm 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 going to shout out my own conscience for just being with me for 46 years. Yeah. Of giving me good decisions. You can leave 46, man. Yep, That's 46. <laughs> <laughs> 46, you man. That's and I, off, for real. I I I I want people to listen. I want people to see because a lot of people don't listen or see. They they don't read either, but that's another E Debbie speaks. <laughs> um <laughs> I want people to listen. I want people to see. Yeah. Uh, listen as in, in, in listen to yourself. Yeah, listen to your conscience. I want people to see, not see other things, mm. but see what's around you, who's around you. Right. And trust me, people, you will definitely get the answers that you've been looking for. Right. For years. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say exactly. that again. You you will definitely get the answers. Because there are people right now walking around with people hanging around you. And I know you said, you know, you go home, you, oh, damn, why, why, why do I hang around this person? Yeah. You know, they, they always want something from you. They yeah. always ask you for something, but then when they need something or you need something from them, what what's that conversation? Oh, well, uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I can't do I can't do nothing. I can't do that. I ain't Ooh. got you. I'm sorry. 250? I, got, I could put something on it. But I yeah, got I, yeah, <laughs> you need to hit me up on the 15th. You know. Hey. I don't think I could do that right now. <laughs> you know what? People I, that are listening to me, that listen to us right now. Yes. Stop allowing people. In your circle because you want them there. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Because you want them there. Well, I've been running with them since sixth grade. Mm. I don't. I want them in my circle forever. You mm. know what I'm saying? And it doesn't work that way. You try to tell me I have boundaries for that. Go on with that. <laughs> because she got five on it. E. <laughs> she got oh, she got. <laughs> <laughs> I got five on it. But. <laughs> Stop allowing people in your life because you because you simply want them there yes. because it's it's a level of comfort. I ran with people for years because of that. Mm-hmm. I've been running. Oh, I know that they're gonna. I know this person's gonna leave me hanging, but at least mm-hmm. I know they're gonna leave me hanging. Mm-hmm. Man, please, we we have to cut those people out. And when we cut folks, when we pull the knife out or the sword out to cut people off, let that blade be let that blade be real sharp. Cut them off. Move on. When I cut people off, I cut you off. Yes, I ain't I no going back. Ain't no. How's your son doing? Yeah. How's no. the family doing? Ain't none of that. <laughs> when you when no for real real talk, y'all y'all looking at this that when voice. You cut though. people <laughs> off. Don't go back <clears throat> and be yeah in the DMs. That's how I start. Yeah. In the DM, you can't you can't call the person up and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. You you, you need to have thick skin, and that blade need to be sharp when you cut them off. Yeah, cut them off. Yeah, because it's not a it's not a need thing right now. Right. 
No, it's it's not a want thing. It's a, it's need. a need. It's a necessity mm-hmm. that you need to cut them off because yeah. it's it's a disease. It's a plague. It that person just every single day calling you. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? They don't sound like that. I'm just saying. But yeah. hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, look, look, <laughs> look. Uh, you, let me you hold got, Let me hold something <laughs> every day. Let me hold something. Let me hold something. Let me let, let me, me hold something. I did a live the other day. It, uh-huh. it's, it's funny. All the lives I've done lately are coming back up in this show. Yes, yes. I did a live the other day, and and the title was uh, "Close My Door." You letting the air out. Mm. Um, mm. Because what we'll do with people is that we'll leave doors open. We'll leave doors cracked mm-hmm. for them because we are afraid to go forward mm. because we're afraid we're going to fail. Mm. So if I leave that door cracked, I can always go back that way. Or, and I said, yeah. And I said, you know what? <laughs> and I said, y'all close my door. You let my air out. And so when I, when I mean by that, because, you know, as young ones, you hear that all the time in the summertime. You get the yeah. air on. You got, you got mom and them saying, close, close, my, them, God close my door. door. Air conditioning the whole neighborhood. Shout air meaning. Mac. I know, right? <laughs> air meaning. Positivity, mm. your progression, mm. your blessings, mm. and then, and when you open, you do that door crack for these people that miss you no good in the first place. Mm-hmm. You let it, you're letting the air out. So that was the, that was the title. You close my door. So slam doors when you cut people off. I said that to say when you cut people off, cut them all the way off. Slam the door, nail it shut, the whole nine yards, and, and move and move forward. Eat the key. Eat the key or burn it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But don't let that crack in your door. Uh, ruin what you have worked so hard for. Yes. That's that's, that's, that's me. Hey, Terry, we're going to take this couple of minutes, um, these few minutes. Final thoughts. My final thought is, uh, first of all, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, yes. Joining us, right? yes. I really appreciate you. You guys can follow me, uh, TCS TV. You can hashtag that any way you want to. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my hashtag. Can anybody take it? Um, my final thought is, you guys just be mindful of how you move in this life because society is a lot different from what it was 30 years ago. Um, yes. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to say, I can't, you know, why are you here? What do you want from me? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, I work hard to get peace. Nobody's going to ruin that because you only get one shot. Peace yes. is the goal. Peace is what we, we're all striving for. So you can't let, you can't allow people that mean you no good, take your peace from you. So yes, with that, thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, though, uh, forgive yourself, forgive them folks, and move on. There you go, right mm-hmm. there. Hey, you've been watching. Thank you. Shout out to Terry, Terry Little, uh, the host of the Common Sense Show TV. Make sure you follow this brother. Make sure you watch the shows. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Make sure you go to the fan page of Charm City Direct TV at facebook.com forward slash Charm City Direct TV. Also, follow me on uh, Twitter at Charm City Direct. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch the shows on YouTube at Charm City Direct TV, Young Black Panthers Network, Ordinary People Media. Mm-hmm. Hey, what can I say? We doing it big. Shout up. out the yes, we about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> hey thanks for people thank thank you all for watching thank you all for engaging uh that's what we need right now on each show that you see live mm-hmm. or the previous shows engage mm-hmm. it's cool to watch engage. but it's nothing yeah. if you do not engage also make sure you check out the new show brunching with e digger and lease oh. You Every Friday, yes. <laughs> you got to. If you haven't watched one yet, listen. They they premiered. They premiered August second. Listen, if y'all have not yes. had a chance to watch Brunch. It, please go back and watch the first one because they hit. I think like fifteen hundred views on that. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I want to spell lemons. E- e- I'm telling I'm you. I'm about to put that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to put that. Use oh, the man. hashtag. I want to spell lemons. I want to spell lemons. You got to put the hashtag in there. 
make sure you get that shirt. Um, <laughs> we're working on uh, Lisa's working on getting them shirts, so make sure you get your shirt. I want to smell lemons. Ask smell me lemons. in the DM what that means. Well, that's, please ask him that. That's that's that is the most um the most in, in entertaining answer you'll ever get. <laughs> I promise. Ask, go to I might, go I, might just, I might just do a video, a separate video, and explain <laughs> what that means. And I'm I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna work on no, it. I'm gonna work no, on no, it. no, no. Don't no. do that. Put that yeah, put that in your back pocket. Let people come to come to you for that. Okay. Like you think, right. what's, what's going on? How did it come from? That's just well, like what, I did. What happened was <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Yeah, hey man, thanks I'm for good. joining me today. No problem, brother. Hey, no thank you. Thank you all for watching. This has been E Digger Speaks, where the conversation is real, never fabricated. Right, I love you all. Peace. All right. All right. Ah. Thank you for watching E Digger Speaks. Make sure you tune in next week for another exciting episode. Make sure you tune in live in the studios of Charm City Direct TV. E Digger Speaks. Where the conversation is always real, never fabricated. Yeah, you gotta give me one of those. Uh...